What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the free-to-play account. Uh, we're just going to sit on and keep storing a ton of our cores of Transcendence to decide if we want to go in Fate or just continue in Guidance, which would probably be the smart play here. Uh, we're working our way towards our third Transcendence Hero, but of course we're using all of those for Stellar Shards. As much as I want to build like uh, a Jara third, I really just want to see how this hero performs. Um, we actually have enough that we can now level her up even further. Wow, I actually didn't realize that was a thing. We are actively going to have to make some food, it looks like. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess we can, right? Honestly, if we were able to build like a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> actually you know what hold on wait a minute uh we can literally build a 10 star rogan <laughs> okay we're just gonna feed the rogan off it's fine don't worry about it guys i know a lot of you guys are gonna cringe right now but hey you know what it is what it is it is what it is boys and girls <laughs> we're just gonna invest probably all in the hp first uh yeah that's a significant amount of upgrades for her that's surprising so we're getting really close to v4 we need what uh, about 100 or 1.8 probably still about 2 million so we still need quite a few more spheres but that's not what we're talking about today today we're still talking about going all in craziness with our vulcan seeing if we can progress through 1-3 uh we're keeping the same exact setup we had before i don't know if that's a smart play i actually probably should look at their abilities too if we could kill those gustins off that is mainly the big issue we have here. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, God. Oh, no, he's going to die. He's definitely going to die. Yeah, those Annabelles are annoying. We're going to have to go up against those Annabelles. Everything's annoying about this wave. Um, No, I mean, I kind of like going back to the Rui there. I kind of, kind of do, but I actually want to, like, throw him back more towards the Annabelles. As annoying as the Gustins are, they're not doing too much damage right now. I kind of want to prioritize killing off Annabelles if possible. Oh, jeez. Oh, we're getting our butts kicked from the pings now. Yep, <laughs> now we are. We do need to go to dot removal because Eloise's ability, Scarred Soul, is a dot ability nowadays. Uh, I think maybe Crown. I don't know. Keeping them feared is so important. I just... Wait. Oh, oh there was definitely help. Maybe we need to stagger them for their attacks. Let's see. What the what? We only hit one of them? Granted, we killed the Annabelle that had the fear. That's not exactly great, but um, maybe. Oh, maybe. Nope. This really is where you wish you had more node buffs on your team here. Um, we're just gonna have to try to get the RNG to line up. I think running balance strike is the play here. I want to watch here. Maybe we do use a crown though. Because the Rui is not serving us that well. And if we do run the crown, we can probably run Balance Strike as well. Let's go back to that method that we were running yesterday. It worked pretty darn good. Um, also, we can change these up to Dot Purifies. And that should be a little bit better. I don't think we can go to No Unbending on Star Swordsman Mothman, though. Decent active, not amazing. I mean, you're still getting really weak here. But you do full heal back up, which is huge. Uh, I don't know. So many of these are like, we're so borderline on getting these done. <laughs> like, so, so borderline. Taking out the Gustins early are, of course, a very good thing to do. I don't like him across the front row, though, honestly. I think I'm going to put him back in the back row and put him in the very back again. That way we can hopefully kill Annabelle's or do we care about the Gustins more? I really don't know. Oh my God. Actually, the Gustin pings are disgusting. They do so much damage. Maybe we do need to prioritize the Gustin kills then. So let's do this. Let's put you over here on this side so you're across from one of those Gustins. I mean, ultimately, I think we just need, like, an absolutely insane active from Star Swordsman Mockman for this to work. 
Okay, we got one of them. That's pretty cool. Sadly, the other one did not go down. Maybe not balance strike. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we still stick with this. Yeah, man, I wish there was some way we could get to a second act with Star Swordsman Mockman. If this was like Vulcan, I feel like we could get like a round two active as well. Still alive somehow. Okay, all right. That's actually good that the ghost went over here. I guess not really because he actually got an active off. Oh, man, that could have been huge if he didn't. Or not the ghost, the puppet. Oh, man. Oh, that was really spicy. Can we kill the Gustin in round two? That would be huge. Oh, my goodness, we can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's actually a chance here. No, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Hold on, hold on. I was a little bit premature on the excitement there. <laughs> I think we still need to figure out a way to get our Star Swordsman Mockman a second active off, and that's going to be the tricky part. We can't even, like, do it with a monster or something. This needs to happen where we don't get... <sighs> don't get the Dread Puppet. We need to not get the Dread Puppet. Come on, man. Mockman, you got to do this for us. Don't let Annabelle do you dirty like this. This is where the Rui would be the better pick, though. Maybe we just go back to Rui and make sure we lock them down and just try to high roll then. Right? Because we can't let them get those, those puppets off. Those puppets literally mean death for us. So if we go back to here. Actually, I wonder if this is one of those where we could run a super tanky Star Swordsman Mockman. What the what? We hit the Eloise? That's not going to be a victory. <laughs> this is going to be the furthest thing from a victory right here. Nope. We need to kill off those Gustins like immediately. I don't know if we're running the super offensive mode like we were previously. We'll have to check his enabling and his imprints real quick. Get a big heal. I just don't know if we can go up against the Eloises. Like if we can kill her off this round, that's cool. And then, oh no, we didn't kill. That's really bad. Either way, that's really bad. Um, okay. We got crit crit attack. Probably need to keep that dot. We got see yeah, we got the damage reduction. What if we change this damage reduction over to skill damage? That could be a huge difference in killing the two targets in the first round. The damage reduction really is not doing much for us. Uh keeping the aspen pretty healthy here. Gotta keep them locked down. Nope. Man, those counterattack hits are brutal. I mean, maybe we do need to put him in the front row, though, just to try and fear the Eloise. Eh, I don't think that's a good idea either. Ooh, killing both Annabelles could have been interesting. I'd love to kill both Gustins round one and fear both Annabelles. I feel like that is the way we win this. Yeah, that's not going to be a victory. I just want to beat this level at this point, guys. Ooh, the perfect fear, and we're going after Gustin's. That's really good. This Gustin should die right here. Oh, no. He's going to kill here, which means he gets the dread. What the what? Oh, my God. The Eloise hit so freaking hard. Those actives are disgusting. Okay, maybe that is like a better option. Oh my, what? What just happened? That was absolutely amazing. <gasps> no, no, we can't let the Eloise get an active off. Hold on, please kill her. Kill her, kill her, kill her. Oh God, this is bad. Wait, she's feared. She's feared. There's counterattacks we have to deal with. <laughs> oh, it's so possible. It's so possible. We can do this. Kill the Gustin right here. Yeah, the actives from the Eloise are just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I mean, maybe the crown still is the better play. It is a lower chance to get the, the hit off, but we don't have any other offensive artifacts, do we? We just have like demon bells, right? We do have an A and B. That's not really going to do much. The crown will be much better in this situation. We're, we're going to go back to the crown. It means less chance to actually fear them in round one, but... It's going to mean a lot more survivability. Maybe we can kill that Gust in round two right here. Ooh, we still can. That's solid. And we have the Annabelle still feared, which is good. I think we're going to die. 
Yeah, they're gonna get Actives off, which is gonna... Oh, the Dread Puppet is so bad for us. It's possible. If we can get that same thing to happen again, we're in a good spot. Everybody's low. Maybe Aspen's round two active can kill. Everything. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, that did Everybody's so close. Oh, could you imagine if we would have got the giant killer copy on this account, though? Could you imagine? We were so close. We had a B plus Mockman from that summon. It was so ridiculously close, but not quite there. Yeah, I mean, this way feels worse because, like, we're getting hit so many times. Maybe we do need to put him in the front row. And we need to try to kill off, like, uh, one of the Eloise. That's the wrong Eloise. I feel like this bottom Eloise is getting hit a lot more often, right? So maybe if we put him across from that one, we would be in a better spot. I don't know. Finishing off those back row targets are really important, though. He is tanky. He's super tanky. I'm going to put him in slot one. Just because the first slot seems to be the one that gets hit the most. Uh, that time, wow. I kind of wish we should have been in the back row now. Oh, God. What am I doing? Just leave him in the back row. Barry, just leave him in the back row. This is not, not going to work out. No, no, no. Back row, you stay in the back. Everybody in the back row, let's get it done. God, a Jaro would probably be so huge on this account, to be honest. Like, oh, a Jaro would be so good on this account. Because we would definitely get the CC off. Which means we would just have to pick apart the Gustins. Oh, I don't know why I'm not building a Jaro right now. It's such a good hero for this. All right, kill off that Gustin. Oh, God, it's close. Okay, we got the kill there. One of the animals gets an active off. That's not good for us because there's no way to get rid of those skill effects. <sighs> I don't know if this one's going to happen right now, guys. I feel like if we had the last little branch piece that gave us one more Omen Rift on our Mockman, we would be in a good spot because we'd have almost three targets dead instead of two. Oh, one of these Eloise is very low. We have to kill you off, like, right away. Oh, God. Are we going to actually live to another actor for both of them? Hold on. Oh, no. No, no. It fell apart because of the Annabelle. Oh, we just need, like, that God-tier roll from this. I mean, that was pretty good from the, from the Mockman. We need him to do some crazy damage numbers here. Sadly, though, they were not feared, so... We won't heal. We'll instead, heal them. I almost wish we had, like, a Punisher staff to throw on the Aspen, honestly. <laughs> like, I feel like that would be the play. Oh, uh, like, could you imagine a round one active doing some bonus damage? I'd want him going after Star Swordsman Mockman, though. I wonder if we can change his stone, because we're kind of building him, like, speedy. I want to give him another stone. I really do. No, I want I want offensive. I mean, speed attack is pretty cool too. Um Hmm. I really like a crit crit attack stone though. That's like my dream here. There it is. Uh We're going to replace this one. We're going to go crit crit attack here. We're going to build him offensive. We're going for damage. Crit, crit damage, damage reduction. Sweet. We have very high crit chance, very high crit damage. Maybe this will help us out. Man, if we had a Punisher staff, you would probably just be rocking people right now, too. So he does go after the Mockman now, which I'm not against, I guess, because he's better at finishing targets at low HP levels. Right? Uh, I think. What's their speed difference now? 2085. Oh, yeah, it's a big difference. That speed stone was the only thing making him go first. I mean, unless we went to a Rui Scepter, but ooh, that was very nice. I like that. It does make it easier for him to finish a target off, though, because of Mockman. Um, oh, no, they both got it, but somehow we still did damage. I don't know how that worked. We had the Dread Puppet on our Mockman, but he said, I don't care, and I don't know why. <laughs> 
I really don't know why. How did he use an active? How did that happen? I'm so confused. Unless... Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. That was just like the dream setup right there. What just happened? Okay. Hold on. Get another hit. Counterattack. Full heal. Not quite damage. We're going to get a Dread Puppet. Please hit the Aspen. Please hit the Aspen with the Dread Puppet. Come on. Come on. Hit the Aspen. No. <laughs> he died anyway, though. Um, and there's a chance we get to one more round active here. But it's not going to be enough, is it? Nope. No way we can keep up now. It's so close. So close. I want a better artifact than damage reduction at this point. <laughs> uh, sadly, we just got like demon bells and stuff. I do like the change of the order, though. It does mean we take more ping damage from the Gustins, though, which is really bad. I wonder what would happen, though, if we went back to a Rui-type mode. Just to really try to lock them down. Because I think locking them down is going to be one of the best things we can do. Okay, that was really good active as well. Good fear on the back line. Wow. Wow. Keep those Dread Puppets away. Yep, yep, that's, that's, that's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Hold on. We can still die here. Oh, God, we got to have the healing to outlast all these dots. Oh, no, no, no. All right, I think I'm going to call it quits for right now. It's definitely possible. Again, what I'm going to do is I am going to start up our macro here on blue stack. So let's do void campaign. Let's hit the play button. I'm going to let us get a victory here. Eventually, we will get it. I know eventually we're going to get this. There's no way we don't. It's just we get very, very squishy here in the later rounds. <laughs> but it's definitely possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.